Tom with Gold Spot Pens here to uh, show you a few things here on our weekly live show, the Writer's Showcase. We wanted to show a couple of new pens that came in the last week, one of which being the Schaefer Ion, uh, which uh, actually this is one of the few that we have left. We had just put this in our newsletter uh, yesterday, or was it the day before actually, and, uh, and quite a few of the pieces have already moved. So a lot of the colors are currently sold out, but we are hoping a new shipment will be in next week. So we'll be able to uh, continue to be able to move these guys. Uh, then also too is what we have up is the Platinum uh, 3776 Century, the Shunyo Limited Edition. Uh, and this is a very, very pretty pen, something I've been looking forward to taking a look at for a while. And I pulled out the SF, the Soft Fine, nib in the 14 karat gold and we're going to take a look at that and see uh, what are we talking about in terms of maybe a little bit of flexibility just a little bit that would be kind of cool uh, to see that I, I do like my flexi type nibs so uh, i'll be able to kind of show you if it if it can be pushed at all so uh, uh but first we'll take a look at this little fun guy and it comes in a nice slim gift box and if anybody uh can remember that uh, the cross ion, uh, actually, you sh I'm sorry, the Schaefer ion used to be called the cross ion, and that's why I'm getting it all mixed up, is because the ion model uh, after Cross had purchased Schaefer is now a Schaefer product. So the uh, the little beauty of this guy, and you can see, is very very small, very petite. You can take a look, and just fits basically in the palm of my hand, and. Uh, it pulls apart, and that's how you get the tip out, a little gel tip here. And to get the refill out, we're going to unscrew the barrel. And we have here a, uh, although they, they call it a Schaefer Rollerball refill, they put a Schaefer imprint on here. These are the cross gel type refills that uh, are specifically made for this model of pen. So a little pull and push. And uh, this guy here, this little, little D-ring plus cap. I'm having a heck of a time trying to get out of here. I apologize as I'm struggling with this. I'm trying to pop it out of the container here. Let's see if I can pull it out. All right. There we are. So this is the cap. And you'd be able to fit this over the tip and then attach the D-ring to, let's say, a key fob or uh, your lanyard perhaps so and you wouldn't be able to marker yourself up because this cap covers the tip so even if you did accidentally pull down on it tips not exposed so you're not going to get ink all over yourself so it's a pretty cool pretty nifty little pen and uh, when these were in style these these were very popular cross pens uh, but now Schaefer has them and uh, they they are available in a number of different colors uh, we could do a little writing sample. I want to do a little writing sample here, so let me just flip the phone around. Okay, so I got my trusty Rhodia notepad here. This has got lots of different scribbles and all stuff from when I do the show here. All sorts of stuff. So, just trying to find a blank page. Oh, there we go. Take a look here at what the uh, we'll take a little closer look here at the Schaefer Ion. And see, it comes with a little waxy vault tip here, and that protects the ink from drying out. So let's take a little right here. There's a good, nice flow to this. It just has a very nice, even flow to that uh, to that black gel cartridge that's in here, and it's just super convenient. Just being able to pull it apart, get that point out, and it does extend a little bit further here, a little farther, to you know, kind of accommodate most people's grips. I, I consider myself with an average hand size here. So the the back part does extend out to the you know to the to the web between the index finger and the uh, thumb here, so not not too terribly uncomfortable of a pocket pen. It's just it's a very convenient, good small size, 
and also comes with a little cap that snaps in place to attach to your lanyard. So very convenient. I could see this being a popular choice for people who are, let's say, going back to school or they, uh, they have a profession where they're out and about quite a bit and need to have a uh, writing implement on them. Just basically pop this guy open and you are ready to go. And it has a very fluid, very smooth gel type of refill. So that is the Schaefer Ion. So, second pen we got here, which I'm very eager to take a look at and uh, review for you guys. The Platinum 3776 Century Shengyo Limited Edition. Comes in a beautiful red box. I picked out, out of all the different nib sizes, the Soft Fine 14 karat gold nib. Let's take a look at here. So, kind of get a little bit further out here so I can get all this in frame. So we have here the Shunyo. So you have your fountain pen warranty card. Has information pertinent to the pen. And we have our 3776 Century user manual. This is very lovely. There's some good graphics in here. Lots of Japanese characters. And you know, it's very ironic that we just finished up having a company lunch and we were just doing sushi, you know, Japanese food. And now we have a Japanese pen. So it's very convenient and delicious. So we have the 3776 Century, and this is how exactly how it comes uh, when we uh, provide it here at Gold Spot is in this nice little gift box here. The outside box does make mention of which number it is, so this is number 32, and we can corroborate that by looking at the top of the cap here, which I'm trying to focus in on. And if you can see that, it's a 0032 of 3776. And for anybody who's familiar with the Platinum Limited Editions, there was a um, there was a Lake uh, version that was like a blue uh, a blue version of this that looks very similar. It had like a wave pattern with the lines engraved up and down the barrel and the cap. And this one has a very similar look to it. Uh, this is also got in the uh, top finial here. It's got like a black, um, it's a, like a little peak. It's like a plastic piece that's it's black inside that dome there. And it's supposed to be a characterization or a representation of Mount Fuji in there. As you can see, we have 3776 Century is engraved on the band along with the platinum imprint made in Japan. Twist open cap to reveal the 14 karat rhodium plated gold nib in soft fine. Beauty of a nib. It's got a very nice looking, very nice looking feed here. And when we open up the barrel to the section here, it's got nothing inside, but that's okay because we do have an option of da -da -da, cartridge and converter. So. We can go with the uh, Platinum Proprietary Ink Cartridge, or we could go with the Platinum Proprietary Converter. And for intensive purposes here, we're going to take out our converter. And we're going to open up our pen. And then push the converter into the section for a nice tight fit. Solidly in there. Now we're just going to move this over to the side. We'll get our bottle of Sailor Gentle, pick blue black. I tend to have this bottle of ink on my desk a lot just to, for testing purposes and um, checking out people's pens and doing some adjustments and whatnot because it's very well behaved, easily cleans out of a lot of pens and off of materials and whatnot. And, I can, I can expect what kind of consistency to get out of the ink flow, so it's one less variable to have to consider. 
Yeah, I might not be touching exactly where I should be in terms of where the, uh, oh, there we go. Yes. Yeah, I just did not have it angled in there properly. Wasn't getting the, uh, wasn't getting the proper suction because it just did not hit the ink surface. It wasn't fully submerged. And it's one of those comments that a lot of people make about the Sailor Gentle bottles there. It's just that the inner reservoir is just way too shallow. It does not allow for any other nib size except for the Sailor nibs. Yeah, so we're just going to clean off the section and clean off the nib, the excess ink there. And just put a little drop back in here. There we go. Just clean it up again here. Okay. All right, let's put this back on. Now this I think I could go either way. I could, I could see like the size being good enough to write unposted. My usual preference is to post, so let's take a look at that first here. Now, post is not very, doesn't feel like it posted very deep, but it is quite secure. And the size is pretty decent. It's an average type size. I wouldn't say like oversized or anything less. Seems like it's a pretty good starting point. A lot of people say like their 3776 model is, is their everyday go to type pen. Let's see this right here. Seems like it's a very, very fine, like a very, extra, it's like it's essentially like an extra fine. And when I was doing these swirls here, I was putting a little bit, very gentle pressure on the downstroke to see what we're capable of in terms of flexibility is concerned. So it definitely does have that flexibility. So let's take a look even closer here and just do a little, yeah, there we go. So it does have some good line variation with very, very gentle pressure. I'm not putting any sort of undue pressure on this at all. And it comes up quite nicely to a very extra fine sort of line. I mean, that's I'm, I'm saying extra fine in terms of, let's say, a German or a Western type of nib, but, you know, for a Japanese nib, this is kind of, I guess, what you would expect for a fine. This is no pressure at all. And you can see with, without the pressure, you can see a much lighter tone of this Sailor Gentle Blue Black as opposed to the darker tone when there's more ink on the page here. Let's write this here. This is very, very nice. So very responsive, very springy type of nib. It has a little bit of flexibility in it. And the fact that it's such a fine line when unflexed allows you to achieve that variation, that line variation very easily without any undue pressure on the nib. And I'm really not pushing it at all. I'm not, I'm not trying to really go for that big swell because I know this is not something that you're supposed to do that with. This is really, being that it's a soft fine, you're only really supposed to kind of put just a very nominal amount of pressure on it. You know, in comparison, I'll have to take a look at too. We're just comparing it against, let's say this is a you know, Ogiva, Omas Ogiva. It's been discontinued. So it's got more of a 
ability to flex, but also a thicker starting stroke. So you're, so my fine, my extra fine, this is an extra fine point for the omas, and it's, you know, it's, it's almost doubly as thick as the fine point, as a, the soft fine. But then again, with my, with my flexed portion of the writing here, I'm able to achieve a far thicker line. This is quite comparable to the Aurora 88 flex, which we actually just only have a few pieces of in the brown, the green, and the yellow. No, do we have any yellow yet? I mean, what do we have them left? We have brown, we have green, and oh, the orange. Yes, the orange. So, uh, for looking for flex, but not a whole lot of flex. Like, if you still like to you know, just add like a little bit of line variation and you still prefer to write very detailed notes. So if you want to go with a very uh, fine writing and then option to kind of expand upon it a little bit by just, you know, putting a little extra pressure on the nib. It, this is a really, this is a very, very good pen to try out and to uh, incorporate into your writing repertoire. Very nice, a gorgeous looking pen too. And very similar, you know, in aspects of looking at it with the Ogiva being that you have the lined design, you know, it's a, uh, it's a torpedo or I guess, you know, I'd say more like a cigar shape tapered ends, rounded ends. It has a very similar look to it in terms of like that it's a tinted, dark tinted demonstrator and then the lined pattern on there. Uh, the, uh, the Ogiva though has, has a little bit up on the uh, ink capacity though because the fact that it's a piston fill whereas the Shumyo is a cartridge converter. But for some that's not such a big deal because then with the cartridge converter, it's a bit easier to clean out. All right, so that's what we have here today. This is the uh, Platinum 3776 Shunyo in the soft fine, which keep in mind, this does come in different nib sizes. This is just one of the nib sizes available. I believe there's also music, medium, fine, and um, I think there might be an extra fine. I'm not 100% sure. I believe there's a music as well. Uh, check out goldspot.com because there will be the full selection. Not that many per pen, per nib size available, but they are around. I saw them all. They still are around. They're not completely sold out yet. This one is one of two of the soft finds that we have available. So uh, check this guy out if you're interested and make sure to head over as quickly as possible if you do want one because uh, we can't guarantee they'll be around for very long. So. Uh, then we also just took a look at today, just to recap, the cross, uh, sorry, Schaefer Ion, and we were playing around with that for a little bit. And uh, as always, if I, I really appreciate you guys coming to check out the video. We'll repost this on Facebook, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a direct email. I will give you my attention and answer any questions that you have. You could send it to tom at goldspot.com. All right, so appreciate it, guys. Have a great day.